Hello and welcome to this session. I'm Raghav and today we will learn how to parameterize or how to use parameters in TestNG and we will go very basic step by step and learn how to parameterize tests or how to add test parameters, how to run our test with parameters and how to make our parameters optional. So let's get started and I will go to my Eclipse and here is a project and I will create a new class here. So I'm going to my SRC test Java package and under demo package I will create a class. You can create a class anywhere in your project and I will name this class as test ng parameters demo and inside this class I will create a function public void test and here in the function I will just create a print statement and I will say my name is and here or I will just say name is here I will pass a parameter or I will use a variable name and this I will pass in the arguments of this function so I will say here in the arguments of the function I will say name and this is this will be displayed here okay so here now I have to convert it to a test ng test or test ng method so I will use the annotation at test and import it from org test ng annotations so now this is a test ng method or a test ng test and here we are using this particular uh, name as the parameter but how to give this name parameter so the, here we have to define another annotation called parameter if you control spacebar if you press control spacebar you will get this auto suggestion parameters and here you can in the brackets you can define the name and it can be anything so it can be my name or anything and you can actually define more than one parameters as well however if you define more than one parameters make sure that you put this inside curly braces like this okay and even if you define a single parameters you can put this inside curly basis this is the correct syntax so here we have defined this parameter and now we have to pass the value to this particular parameter so for that what you will do is I will do a right click on this class and go to test ng and say convert to test ng so basically we have to create a test ng .xml file and you can name it anything I already have up to test ng5 so I will name it test ng6 .xml and suite 1 test 1 and here I will select classes and say finish and if I look at my test ng xml this is how it looks like I will just remove these comments from here okay and even this thread count is not needed okay so here is my test ng xml file but due to some reason it did not add the classes so let me do that myself I will add a classes tag and I will here add the class which is inside the package demo and the class name is test ng parameters demo I will copy its name from here so that I do not make any mistake in the spelling and I will say here this is demo dot test ng parameters demo and that's it now here we can we can define the parameters here and give the value and you can do it at a suite level so if you do it at a suite level all the tests will get that parameter value and you can also do it at a test level so here I am doing it at a test level and I will say so if you press control spacebar it will get auto completed and this is the syntax parameters name value and the close tag so here I will say now here you have to use the same name that you have to you have used here in the parameters annotation which is my name so here I will say my name and let us say automation okay and now I will do a right click and say run as test ng suite and let us see what happens if I go to the console you can see this is now printing name is automation so here it has got the value of name from this parameter which is defined in our test ng xml and then it prints name is 
whatever value we have given okay so here is how you can add parameters and run with parameters now let us see if I do not provide this value here I will just delete this or you can also comment this out so I will comment this particular line where I am giving the parameters okay and I will save this and let me try to run this now I will say run as testng suite and you see it failed and if I go to the console let me see it is saying uh, this parameter my name is required by add test on method test but has not been marked optional so because we have not marked it as optional therefore we need to provide its value and because we have not provided the value it has failed so for that what you can do is in your arguments you can say at optional okay so when you use the tag when you use the annotation at optional it will make the parameter optional and now if you run this so let me run this again and see what happens so here it did not fail however if you see it has passed null because we have made it optional and we have also not passed it from our testng dot xml file so here you can also provide some value so when it is not given from testng dot xml it should be optional and the default value it will take is let us say Raghav so now let me run this again and see I will save and run this and if I go here you can see now it is printing Raghav and of course if I will provide the value from here it will take the value from here okay so this is how you can make parameters optional let us very quickly look at some useful tips so this at parameters annotation can be placed at any method that has the annotation at test before test before or after or at factory as well and you can even place the add parameter annotation at a class constructor and this will be very useful so that whenever an object is created for the class you can assign the parameters that time itself so you can use at a constructor level also and as I have discussed you can put the parameter tag under suite tag or under test tag now if you have the same parameter under suite tag and test tag then the parameter under the test tag or the value under the test tag will have precedence so this is a convenient way if you want to specify a parameter to all your test and override it in some particular test so this is how you can use parameters in test ng I hope this session was very useful for you I will suggest that you do some more hands-on with different examples so this concept is very very clear to you and in case you face any issues you can let me know and I will try to answer you as soon as I can I will meet you in the next episode thank you for watching